Hello people, so whoever is new, welcome to my channel, consider joining my tribe and my tribe, welcome back. Today I'm doing something different and I think that you're going to enjoy it because it's going to involve feelings and it's going to involve also secrets. Because why I'm saying that is because I literally do not have a question just yet. So it's like what whichever pile you choose, we're just gonna go with it, whatever comes up. What I do have though, I have a list of songs that I'm gonna incorporate in the reading for pile number one, two, and three. So what I'm gonna be doing, I will literally draw cards and I will tell you whatever it is that you might need to hear about your uh, ex, whatever it is that you might have to hear about your current partner or future or someone you might be emotionally attached to. So literally expect unexpected guys because I don't know what to expect myself. So just let's jump into the piles and I'm gonna meet you there. Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile number one, I'm gonna firstly do a reading. Let's see what's gonna come through. I have loads of decks in front of me. I'm gonna start with uh, a vibe off. I'm just gonna pick one of the romance angels so I can more or less see what's the storyline. I'll also draw probably my intuitive deck, whoever there's no, I read from abstract. And uh, let's see what's coming through here all right so i don't even know how long this video is gonna okay so we've got the first one and it says separation so we have a vibe here right we have a vibe here guys <laughs> right let's see let's see so you know i don't usually read from these cards what it says at the bottom but at the bottom it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon so it can go both ways if you're in a relationship it might be separation possible in the future if you are in separation now uh, that's what we are talking about it's interesting right <laughs> i'm so i think i'm much more curious about this whole thing than you are i'm gonna probably use the textured tarot for you guys i love 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 this deck and let's see let's see what i'm picking up from this all right we start i'm gonna show you cards um as i speak just give me one sec bear with me here we're gonna start talking in a minute Let me just get them all in order and we will talk. Okay, most of you guys, what I'm seeing, whoa, whoa, so much to say here. I'll draw the intuitive. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I see already a storyline here. I'm gonna pull from the intuitive and we're gonna start talking. With the intuitive, I'm gonna talk about how you're feeling right now, what's coming through. Let's see, let's tune in a bit into your energy here. I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but I wanna see what you're about right now. I see that for, for a lot of you, a female figure or someone who has more feminine energy is influential in your life right now, one way or another. And she might be a teacher of some sorts. Maybe she's counseling you or she did in the past regarding the separation situation that we are talking about. Now, looking at these cards, what I'm seeing, I feel like a lot of you maybe have been getting some messages from the universe. Sorry, what's in my... Okay, sorry. Might have get getting some messages from the universe. I know you don't know what it means, but just saying. And maybe it got you confused maybe you you took those signs as something but it meant something else and i'm not gonna to go too much into this but what i want to say someone who has curves someone who's curvy or has a nice body if we're talking about a man 
um, that's a person around you right now. This is someone whom you have a soul connection with, and I'm talking about a friend energy here, okay? Might be a parent for some of you, maybe for some of you a new lover of some sort. I'm not sure, pick whichever storyline resonates, but this person is in your life in order to teach you, in order to help you out to go through those struggles. And whatever struggles you had, we're talking about relationship here in the past, um, this person probably was really helpful about it. And uh, this is a nice connection, you know, I really like them because it feels like they, the way they are, they keep their head high and they want you to do the same, okay? Now, let's see. So I'm gonna show you cards. <laughs> Guys, pile number one, okay, okay. So I'm picking up the main storyline here that uh, some of you, I'd say 80% of you here uh, has been in the karmic relationship and um, everyone gets like, oh my god, it's karmic. No, karmic is good. Karmic means that you have learned a lesson of some sort, okay, and you're moving on. So it's a good thing. Now, let me just focus. You can see better the cards. We have justice and we have five of swords and I do see this deck a bit differently though. So, um, so and I'm a bit sick still. So the thing what I'm seeing here is Whatever the situation that has happened in the past, it has taught you a really good lesson. And we have Eight of Cups here. For me, the separation is talking about your past, guys, a lot. And maybe this person um, has been on your mind for a really long time. And just now, or maybe in a not too far future, you will kind of start um, detaching from this person not only physically but emotionally too a lot of you i see that you physically probably already detached but some of you might have to do it emotionally okay i do have a specific situation here where i see that someone has taken some kind of a risk it might be you or might be that person and um Someone basically tried to put themselves second and put that person first and it ended up being a damn chaos, you know, and I think that was a lesson for you guys to put yourselves first because I do see you as single right now. We have nine of pens here and next to it we have eight of cups, you know, so I do see you as single here and I think for a lot of you guys, this connection was to do with inspiring you on a level that you would start taking interest in, in, in different things more. Okay, I have the High Priestess here and it says to me that you started maybe listening to your gut feeling more or taking interest in anything to do with uh, otherworldly things. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it in a box for you guys, but... Um, this separation has taught you a really good lesson, guys. And I do see over here that if you look at this woman laying over there, she's still kind of trying to grab onto him, but he's like, I have to go. Okay, this is not working out or vice versa. Um, now, what I do have here is Ace of Wands, but it's reversed. So for some of you, there's still some, you know, things to learn, to go through in order to... Uh, meet this next person coming into your life because even though it's reversed it's there okay ace of wands is there and let's get into this a little bit more i'm gonna use the steampunk deck for that because it feels like you are towards the end of getting over everything that has happened okay um, and it can take a long time for some people. It doesn't mean that you have, you know, you're not in contact with the person or um, you are not speaking to them, that you're over them. It can stay in your emotional uh, field for some time, you know, until you actually release them. For a lot of you, that's the case. I do see that someone has sacrificed something in this relationship in the past and uh, that has caused a lot of probably internal chaos rather than chaos with that person because it feels like you might have felt like oh my god why did i do this i should have always put myself first and it's a good lesson okay now let's see what's that ace of wands <laughs> i love when this happens i'm like okay so this time it's 
upright so it's saying it's not too far to go in order for you to get this passion for life in order for you to maybe start um seeing new people start being more open to new relationships okay wow okay let's see what else here we have two of pentacles still doubting might be doubting if you want to go with someone somewhere or you don't it seems like um it might be taking you some time some time guys in order to kind of free yourself from that doubt you know what if what if about this other person and we have two of cups reversed it's saying there is a connection out there for you guys it's reversed okay so you need to go just a little bit more you know this woman if you really look at her i'm sorry you can't see it very clearly here it seems like she's doing her best in order to keep herself on the surface i'm get i'm going really deep here but that's what's coming through two of cups reversed is saying there is a connection waiting out there for you but there is still something to do from your side okay let me see what is it and for that i want to use the goddess tarot it's really good when it comes to um when it comes to asking questions like what it is that has to be released how you feeling how is your soul feeling you know is it your soul fulfilled i use this deck for that mostly what is it that you have to work on okay go out uh, what you have to work on basically here is go back and have some fun meet new people i told you that okay meet new people meet friends have fun be light-hearted don't get stuck into your pentacles where you're like i'm not sure you know um i'm doubtful a little bit those clouds are over me still whatever those clouds represent to you okay it's saying you need to go out into the world and experience new things so then maybe you can turn this two of cups upright okay and the full reversed so guys if you are feeling like you are stuck right now or something is not moving for you this is saying it's power is in your hands literally power is in your hands in order for you to turn even that full upside down okay where you are chasing your own passions in life i do see a lot of passion for you guys here not only regarding relationship but also about your own personal life the way you want to lead life the way you want to be you want to live your life in a fulfilled way like all of us do right but i'm picking up a lot of like uh, fiery energy from you here so chase that light of yours um do not doubt whatever you're doing now it might be feeling like i'm not sure where i'm going even okay you just need to go straight and trust it if she looked down below you know it seems like she doesn't even realize that she is cycling on top of the water because she's looking straight and she's concentrated she's like i'm, I'm gonna get to where i want to be if she looked down below it's the same like you know if you're afraid of height everyone says don't look down and she's not looking down otherwise probably she would be distracted and she would get scared therefore she would start drowning okay so we need to go like this and do not doubt yourself guys you're very nice nice people pile number one you have really good heart and uh it's time for you to use that heart in order for you to lead let your heart lead you in a way in your life what is this next thing that's drawing you in um do you want to go uh, and meet an old friend do you want to go and um maybe see a concert of some sort or go to a library or um i don't know read about something just follow your heart the moment you'll start doing that you're gonna turn those two of cups up upright okay ten of swords reverse saying you are getting over this separation for sure and i'm and I'm talking mostly about separation in the past for you guys. And I'm not gonna confuse people talking about three different storylines. You know how to take messages. So just apply whatever suits you, okay? Page of Pentacles. Patience is needed right now. But feel like you have someone who's kind of creeping 
behind those curtains meaning there is some kind of interest in you from someone else but don't think that you are aware of it because it seems like you are so trying hard to make everything work for you in the way you want to that you maybe sometimes don't allow universe to throw surprises for you so let go of a steering wheel okay let go of a steering wheel and let everything go with the flow for yourself that's when you will start experiencing different things and let other people into your life too last one and i'm gonna ten of wands reversed let go i said right let go of the burdens on your shoulders it seems like you're very burdened not only about you know past emotions but it seems like there is one person in your life who might be giving you those burdens and um, think who that might be all right I said last one and there's one more justice again reversed so you know whatever is happening where we talk if we're talking about someone next to you right now where they maybe are putting a little bit too much pressure on you or whatever the case what they are kind of making your life a little bit more difficult than it should be it's saying not too longer not too far ahead um, the justice will be upright okay so everything will be sorted in the way that has to be this is your period of um, maybe uh, giving yourself some time thinking about things you know and a lot of you might be concentrated on your work right now and a lot of you probably are entrepreneur spirit of some sorts would it be you doing it already or you wanting to do it in the future okay so now let's jump into your song for pile number one let's see if it's gonna vibe together i have a um, song called golda the band and villain okay so let's see what it is oh my god i feel like it's gonna vibe together let me just play a bit of it and what i'm doing actually i've only chosen the bit from 1 11 minutes so it's gonna be interesting what we will hear okay let me just volume that up I'm gonna read the uh, lyrics if you couldn't hear it so the bit that I have played for you listen to the whole song if you would like to and um, read the lyrics and feel the vibe of it but uh, where is it so he says and every time I kissed you when our world was so so bad you could tell that we are dying slow I mean I don't have to interpret this too much right I'm gonna leave this with you but I feel like this song is very much like this because if you look at the rest of the lyrics um it's called villain first of all and then there is a, a part where he says one second where is it Little blood was spilling, but it's still murder in the first degree. You knew that I would leave you. So doesn't it just literally sum up this whole thing? Separation, right? I mean, this song literally just says everything, I think. So just guys, you know, as I said before, for pile number one, I feel like some of you are literally in that state maybe you suddenly started remembering remembering of someone and it brought back all of those feels you know and um i feel like there is that connection call to come uh, can't sorry <laughs> coming towards you only if you just go like this and know what what it is that you chase and know what it is that know that you are capable of doing everything that you are trying to achieve you have nine of pens here i mean success is on your side you have two of cups even though it's reversed but you know not too long to go if you feel like you are already overworked and you don't have patience there is a little bit of patience needed for you okay so thank you whoever is new consider subscribing tribe lovely to see you as always bye for now Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile number two, it's your reading. So as I said before, I don't know what to expect 
from this reading all I have written for you is the song that I'm gonna play for you towards the end of this reading and we're gonna see how it ties in with the whole thing I haven't drawn any cards yet I'm gonna do it right now and we're going to pull only one card from the romance oracle and that's gonna give me uh, the main message about what you're going through right now or what might might be going on in the future or maybe it's gonna talk about the past like pile number one so let's see guys let's see religious factors so when I see this card right off the bat what it tells me is you might be dealing with someone who is from a different background who might have different religion who is in general different in many ways so let's not put it in the box there are so many of you watching it can be religion it can be the way they have been raised it can be um, values even so let's see so we have an overall already what you're dealing with I'm gonna be pulling let's see which deck wants me to use to be used for hmm, this reading of yours I feel like steampunk so let's start with steampunk and I'm also going to be pulling intuitive just bear with me Ooh, okay, so much to say. One second. Too many all over my desk. Let's see, let's see. What's the story, guys? We have a hangman. I'm gonna show you guys as I speak anyway. We have temperance. Okay, sorry guys if things are on hold for you right now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, we have the um, hermit here. Anyone still searching? Everything's on hold in relationships. Maybe this person is a bit slow. We have six of cups. Someone you have known before. Or in many cases, someone you have a soul contract with okay see what else is coming through here so now that I see six of cups there is more action so first three cards are telling me that one of you guys might have to be working on your own self we have six of wands and we have three of cups but those popped out both at the same time I need the third one here okay and we'll start okay eight of cups reversed Jesus, what a storyline here, what's going on? And I'm pulling from my intuitive, whoever does not, I read from abstract too. Let's see. I'm gonna tune in with the intuitive. Um, kind of see what you're dealing with right now, maybe what you're feeling like. Let's see whatever it wants to tell me. Uh, any of you, sorry, any of you feel sexual pull towards some or, or, someone or, there is the need to express yourself sexually. It's something about that, okay? Hmm. Or I'm getting also a situation where someone cannot be sexual because of something. Like a restriction of some sorts. And it's talking about pregnancy here too. Maybe someone is afraid to get pregnant or someone is not able to express themselves sexually. Okay, guys, problem number two. Because of someone's parent or because of someone else in your life or it can be represented by your own morals. It's something to do with that here, guys. Um, well, it seems like right now even if you would want things to be more moving for you regarding whoever this person is let me just tune into who is this person we're talking about because i do see a storyline here but i want to see what they are like religious factors hey six of pentacles reversed I don't feel like it's reversed for many of you though. I'll talk about it in both ways. You'll pick whatever 
suits your storyline here seven of cups someone is indecisive indecisive in this connection and there's not enough equal give and take isn't it um and I have Knight of Wands. So it seems like someone wants to move towards someone else, but it takes them forever in order to decide what the heck they wanna do. Which cup do I choose? What do I choose? You know, do I choose this cup? Do I choose that one? What do I want? I don't know what I want. There is some kind of, you know, energy about being indecisive, but sexual pull is there. You know, you have the Knight of Wands. He's very curious to, well, she in my deck, to find out what would happen if she went for it. Hope this is making sense. Now, Six of Pentacles is reversed, saying that there isn't enough. You know, there isn't enough of equal, maybe, um, wait, there, I'm looking for a word. Someone is not given enough, given enough of attention to someone else. So one of these people is not doing enough in order for this relationship to work, right? Now, we have the Eight of Cups reversed here and it's talking about a past. So maybe for a lot of you, this person might be, um, might not be in your life right now. For those who I in relationship, though I don't see it like that because we have hermit, temperance, the hangman, every, everything is literally on hold. You're trying to balance yourself out. Think of the ways how to make a relationship work. And a lot of you might be turning to your own self saying what it is that I'm really looking for. What it is that I used to do wrong in my relationship what it is that has to be fixed now in my relationship in order to make it work. Because the temperance is also talking about, you know, being two things being equal. There is a balance. And six of pens talking about this person, there is not enough balance in relationship. Maybe someone is given more than, than the other or someone is taken more from the relationship. But, and overall, I'm seeing that you guys are doing a good job here where you have put yourself in this position where you like, kind of feel like you have stopped and asked your, ask yourself questions about this relationship. Not only about that, but also about what it is that I have to change, what it is that this person has to change. Will it work or why it's not working out the way things are going right now why is there's a lot of whys in this pile and um, a lot of you might have like a separation here where maybe there was the reason for it maybe there was someone else or um, there might be actually a religious factor here maybe this person lives across the globe maybe um, your families wouldn't think that's a good idea for some of you um, Maybe there is someone who's getting involved in this relationship because we have three of cups here There's a third energy here. It can be anything. It can be work. It can be family member it can be a third party uh, situation Romantic romantically talking. Okay Now whatever it is guys that feel like you have six of wands and a temperance one next to another what this is telling me that the moment you will start balancing your life out, whatever needs to be done, you know, you will come, you will come out on top. You have the six of wands here, a winner type, okay? So there is a winning person in this relationship who is going to be looked at in a completely different light the moment they start balancing everything out okay and i do see if you're in the third party situation guys here i do see someone is going to be a winner out of those two people okay it can be you it can be this other person if that's your your storyline here but what i'm seeing here i do see someone coming back from the past towards you you have religious factors when i see that for me it's talking about the also soul connections coming back to you you know the ones that you are me meant to 
meet in this lifetime and you can meet these people in where the situations where you don't even expect them to be there and here you go you end up being in this you know um, relationship or connection that is teaching you something you have six of cups here I do see a winning situation and it's probably going to be in your advantage whatever the situation is Whew. let's use the texture tarot here let's see I feel like this is just the beginning of of the story that I have picked up on because I feel like there's so much more let's look about let's look at the future here eight of wands reversed soon but not now makes sense soon but not now not just yet okay so time it's something six of wands sorry six of swords reversed again this is talking about movement here okay would it be physical movement? Would it be, I told you, there was like, I saw two people in different places. So there is going to be movement in the future, but cards are saying not just yet, they are both reversed. In some cases, maybe that has happened already for some of you guys, pick whatever resonates. And then two of pentacles, okay? Again, there's that juggling factor here. You know, two things at the same time. I see a lot of juggling here. So maybe this is that person who is juggling a couple of cups like I showed you before. There's no way to, or which one to pick, or it might be you, you're not sure which way to go. Three of cups again, guys. A lot of third party energy here, isn't it? For some of you, literally, as I said before, it can be work, but um, it seems like someone's being pulled towards this other person sexually very much. Um, we started with intuitive, right? Talking about it, but uh, maybe someone is not able to because I do see a pregnant woman, one of them is pregnant, okay? Maybe one of the person in the third party is pregnant, you know, and then it's the whole chaos. There's chaos, four of pentacles, and someone's holding on to something um, that they cannot let go of right now. And in this pile, it's a lot to do with right now, not just yet. So don't take it as a no. Nothing is going to work out. But um, understand that there is a possibility that this person is, is going to be coming towards you, but then it's going to be about you how do you want to approach them once they come back into your life what you're gonna do will you say oh uh, you know you are still affected by this third energy which i wouldn't i wouldn't want to take on board therefore i will wait for you to let it go in order for me to be a winner of my own morals or a winner in a situation where you haven't you haven't given up you haven't given in to the situation which maybe for you was like um, your inner self was telling you, you know what, you have to go on your own with this hermit. You have to detach a little bit. So whatever the situation, I mean, this feels like there's so much history in this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, temperance again. So we have two cards from two different decks that are the same. So one of them is Temperance and the other one is Three of Cups twice, okay? So what are the chances? Main things here, it's saying balance everything that needs to be balanced out. Would it be you? Would it be this relationship where you might have to say no to things and walk away in the future, okay? Eight of Cups. Or you have done it already, therefore, you are literally working on your own temperance in a way. And uh, maybe you started going out more. Three of Cups can be talking about that too, okay? Pick whatever resonates. And if you're in that energy where you started going out more, uh, meaning that you meet in different people and seeing friends and maybe have started doing something um, that you have done before but kind of forgotten about i feel like it's it's a good indication of um <laughs> of then love coming towards you okay but make sure that you don't hold on to the connection that feels like this card i mean this guy is you know literally like four of pentacles it talks about someone holding on too tight right make sure that um 
someone in this connection is not holding on too tight where it makes this other person bored because if you look at her face she seems like ah uh, you know like yeah but i'm thinking about something else okay so there's that energy here where there needs to be um a release of some sorts okay and let's see how your song is going to tie in with this whole scenario so for pile two we have um shura i'm not sure how to pronounce it touch it makes sense with the lovers here it's uh, it's it's very it's a very nice song i love it um let me see let me just stop this and i have done something where i'm only playing the part of a song where it starts at 1 minute 11 seconds so i feel like there might be something for you there sorry okay. guys had to cut the video it took you know my internet started being funny so the song for you guys is shura touch and this is such a lovely vibe to it let me play i'm gonna only play it from what i'm doing here today from minute one and 11 seconds and i'm also gonna talk a little bit about the lyrics okay let's see okay i'm gonna play only a bit of it and it says there is a love between us still but something is changing and i don't know why and um i told you there's something about this connection guys there is that pull okay it seems like two people are encountering some kind of troubles some kind of um tests maybe opinions external sources in order to make this relationship work if they would want to and uh, maybe one person is not given enough not investing enough in this relationship and that is why maybe it feels like this sometimes where you know one of you is like mm, you know i don't know i don't know also what i wanted to say that you have the six of cups and six of wands okay six might be influential sorry in this relationship and um also the movement i talked about i do see in the future anyways guys someone coming towards you from the past and you have a victory card okay so maybe the time is in play right now maybe there are still some challenges or some things to be worked on maybe ask yourself what it is that you want to do what it is that makes you happy what it is that has to be fixed from your side from their side in this relationship if you are in a relationship okay so i hope that has helped out pile number two let me know if it did if you are new consider subscribing my tribe and my tribe i love you as always you all dope bye for now hello pile number three people so as i said before i do not know what to expect from this reading all i know is that i'm talking about relationship whatever is gonna come through are we going to talk about your future your past your present we're gonna see all i do have now for you guys is the song that i'm gonna play at the end of this video and your song it's called love the other and we go into look into lyrics a bit too because i feel like there's so much to say you know when you listen to a song you pick up so much from it and let's start with the romance angel we're gonna only pick one card from this as an overall what the heck we are talking about here today and then with tarot i'm gonna look at the whole storyline here okay so let's see what's going on with you pile number three okay give your relationship a chance this is such a nice card work on your partnership okay so a lot of you might be in commitment right now and uh, if you are not don't worry don't click off we're gonna look at different scenarios as usual just pick whichever suits you I'm also using the texture tarot for further messages and I will use the intuitive for your current energy too let's see let's see what's up give your relationship a chance ten of pentacles reversed i'll show you cards as i speak
three of pentacles reversed wow it seemed like someone someone is ready to give up on relationship a lot of pentacles knight of pentacles reversed is some if someone in this connection running out of patience or out of time the emperor reversed and someone is losing their power in this relationship and the empress wanted to come out okay the emperor and the empress so we're talking about someone who is i'm gonna pull the empress out because she was like hey don't forget me because emperor cannot go alone right we're talking about a really strong connection here maybe ex-marriage for some of you maybe some of you have been with this person for a really long time maybe some of you are in separation but um this relationship stuck out for you the most like it was meant to be let's see i feel oh my god i feel like my heart is hurting just looking at this and i feel like the song is so gonna vibe with you oh no don't don't worry nothing bad but i'm just feeling it okay i'm just feeling it give you a relationship a chance eight of swords obviously eight of swords someone is stuck in a moment stuck in the in one place not able to do anything about this not sure if they want to do anything about this queen of pentacles reversed i feel like even though you haven't married this person for some of you for some of you, you might have maybe you are in in marriage right now it seems like i'm talking to a married couple who has come uh to one of those counseling sessions you know literally that's what i'm seeing here someone who has had a good life or memories together and we're two really strong people come on empress and emperor but both reversed you are both losing your power in this relationship where you have to reverse those pentacles back up because pentacles are very stable this connection is really stable it's like this you know maybe there was the hardship of some sorts cards are saying hey not everything is lost you can turn everything upside down the only card that is upright is the eight of swords saying that someone is stuck someone is literally like i don't know if i want to move anymore or maybe it's too painful to move whatever that move you know means for you wow okay maybe someone doesn't want to give this relationship a chance for once i mean you might live it together or might you might have lived together when i saw the ten of pentacles it already told me that there are so many memories together uh i saw someone trying to be stable in this relationship someone trying to earn enough money in order to um get this going maybe for a family saving for future kids whatever it is here if you look at my let me just focus here if you look at my four of wands it seems like there's so much history the fireplace is so warm the house is so warm so many memories to reminisce on i mean it seems like the message you have to take from this pile number three is literally give your relationship a chance maybe it's just Maybe it's just a bad bump on the road, you know, do not, I keep hearing, do not throw this out. And it might be not for all of you guys, but do really feel like uh, you are two people who might be struggling right now, okay? And maybe some of you literally have to find this spark in a relationship. ouch let's see what else here it's getting really hot in this room now because i'm feeling this eight of pentacles another card of pentacles reversed saying that you know if if we saw this card upright i would be telling you like such a good energy okay she is in meditation state she is like chilled she's concentrated on her own self what matters rather than all of that money and you know luxury that she has behind her 
she has everything in place now what this is saying maybe for some of you literally this relationship is suffering because of finances maybe this relationship is suffering because there is not enough stability those pentacles are reversed maybe someone has issues with a job someone has issues with finances someone needs a little bit of support okay let's see what else here it feels like don't say bye yet you know i just keep hearing this don't say bye Whew. king of pentacles reversed <sighs> guys emperor empress reversed then queen of pentacles and king of pentacles reversed do you understand what it means probably a lot of you know what it means it's saying that you are i'm just gonna say it you are meant to be together work on your shit work on it relationship is not as easy as it might seem when the spark is gone when there are troubles when um, there is an external source of some kind that is thrown in your way of relationship you don't throw it out i'm sorry that's what's happening here i've never had such a such a spread i've never had such a spread i mean I, I did have emperor and empress together but not that and plus queen of pens and king of pens together at, in the same spread and give your relationship a chance really five of pentacles reverse told you it might be something to do with material here that has to be worked on okay whatever it is maybe I do see it's like um, even though you might not be in family right now, you know, not living together or whatever your situation is, um, it's saying that you have to understand that whatever, whatever it is to do with pentacles, whatever those pentacles re represent to you, it doesn't mean that if, you, if pentacles are taken out of you, meaning anything material or anything stable really okay um stability in relationship it doesn't mean that you are empty okay only if you see it that way because those pentacles even if they are taken out from you they're shining onto you so the lesson here what i'm hearing is that this had to happen in order to test you are you gonna are you gonna keep on going or are you gonna feel like there is emptiness or you're gonna turn around and look at those pentacles shining brightly like gold from the sky okay like a like a sun there is clarity that is needed in this relationship wow okay i love how tarot is vibing like literally with oracle and everything is so clear tying in like knight of cups it's gonna be fine guys you're gonna find this love you know you're gonna you're gonna get it back it's gonna come back because if you can see at this night even though he still has his armor saying that you know protecting our own emotions or maybe not trying hard enough whatever it is he has taken half of it off he has no pants okay <laughs> So he is coming towards you with that rose and you know cup of emotion saying you know what and it's so pure this card is so pure uh, if you look at the color of the eye of the horse everything is so genuine you know I don't think I had such a genuine and nice pile in a in a really long time everything feels like come on just just a little bit more you know just a lit little bit more if you are not in this uh, in relationship right now it's just your confirmation saying you know what don't let go of this person that easily um, what has to be worked on here come back together six of cups reverse saying you know you know what it talks about nostalgia nostalgia someone coming back from the past you know reuniting with one another it's reversed turn it upside down so you can actually work on this connection work on the emotional state of it and uh, maybe go and do something that you used to do in the past together 
or invite this person uh, to go somewhere that you used to go wherever there is history that has to be renewed okay what else has okay let's see what has to go what has to go okay in order to make this work what has to go Seven of Wands reverse saying someone might be a little bit too defensive about something that might have happened in the past. So maybe someone's holding on to grudge of some sort or whatever it is, guys, that feels like I'm I'm just I'm not gonna I'm just gonna stand my ground, okay? <laughs> and your main energy here, ooh, okay, it fell on the floor now. Whatever, your main energy is saying don't give up. Give your relationship a chance, okay? One more and we're gonna listen to the song that you have. Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, so it feels like this tower, it's not a tower card, right? But uh, has already fallen because gravity works in a way where everything's like blah, you know? When it's like this, it's still standing. So what this is saying to me here, now it's not stable because it's upside down. Again, I told you, reverse all those queens, kings, empresses, and, emperor, uh, and emperors in order to make this relationship work. Because love is in the air still, but someone might be stubborn, someone might have to forgive, someone might have to try harder. It's not all, you know, sunshine and roses when it comes to commitment there are things to be worked on okay and that's something that you i really feel like i need to draw one more card from the romance angel for you let's do it okay let's see what else it is what else it is that they want to tell us here all right do i have to say anything else here okay this is this is true love true love you don't let go of easily right even though even though it might feel like the love is fading away sometimes or there are troubles this is true love so you're gonna have to find your way back to each other guys let's play our song let's see what's up let's listen to the lyrics and um let me just stop the meditation music so your song is love the other okay if you want to write it down if you want to listen to it on your own time and um, i'm only playing the song from time one minute 11 seconds just because i wanted to try this out and it's actually really cool listen to this give me one more night Okay, so if you heard, he says, let me find the lyrics, I can, I'm gonna reread this for you. Mm. So he goes, and I keep waiting like you might change my mind. And then he goes, who wrote the book on goodbyes? So, I mean, this whole song, if you listen to the lyrics of it, it's very much what I have talked about here. Give your relationship a chance, okay? And um, there is a vibe to it where this guy is trying, he kind of thinks that it's over, but he would like to maybe uh, make it work. And uh, at one point he says, when there is nothing quite wrong, but it don't feel right either your head or your heart, you set the other on fire. So I feel like there is so much in the song for you guys. So take a look at it. Let me know, Tribe, if, has, if it has vibe with you. If you are new, consider joining our amazing tribe of people. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.